Hey guys, it's Corey with the Corey Mayo team at Ocean Atlantic Sotheby's. Uh, it is January in 2023. Happy New Year. I hope everyone's year is off to a great start. Uh, today we have a brand new community for you on our driving tour series. This is Headwater Cove by DR Horton. So let's set off and see everything that uh, Headwater Cove has to offer. All right, so Headwater Cove is located uh, in the Lewis Harbison area just off of Route 24, uh, John J. Williams Highway. Uh, uh, Deer Horton has a little bit of a unique uh, business model compared to a lot of other builders. They are a spec home builder, so this really is uh, like resale meets new construction. So what a spec home builder is, uh, they have all of their home sites and they will spec out homes on particular uh, lots and build them and then you get to go in and say I like this one this one or this one you physically look at the home that you might be buying so it isn't necessarily always a to be built option where you pick out the home site and you pick out the home and they build it they spec out these homes you go in I believe right now they have uh, about 17 homes that are available right now that you could walk into and you know sign a contract on today uh, so, but let's set off here and drive through so you can see what the community looks like. It is a great location. We are located just a few minutes uh, from Route 1, which would get you all of your shopping and dining and then a few, you know, a few additional minutes to get to the beaches. Uh, going inland, we'd be heading towards Millsboro, so we have uh, the Bay Life uh, there as well as um, you know, additional restaurants and dining and entertainment in there. So as we come into the community, you notice uh, nice monuments, uh, water features on either side, flanking the entrance as we go in, sidewalks on both sides, and curbs. I know I say this all the time, but I need to repeat it just in case someone else has not seen my other videos. This is a curb and sidewalk community. Uh, older communities have swales, which means there's like a trench or a ditch in the front yard that is used to control the water runoff when there's a, a heavy rainstorm that water goes into the trenches and it uses gravity to then uh, transfer that water from uh, that location to the water retention ponds. Um, it's great because we need to control the water. Uh, the disadvantage to it is, is that we have these big ditches and they tend to hold water for, um, you know, it could be a few hours at a, at a time. Uh, so as we, you know, in this community, when you're curved and sidewalk, that water, that storm water, the roads are crowned, we, we run the water off uh, to the curbs, which then the water will divert the water to the storm drains, the water goes on the ground and everything is handled then out of sight, out of mind. Um, and runs off to the water retention ponds. But the nice thing is where those trenches or those ditches in the front yards would be, or on the side yards, we now have sidewalks. So it's nice for safety, it's nice for convenience, it also gives great curb appeal to the community. So yes, so long story short, this is a curbed and sidewalk community. Again, this is a spec builder, spec home community. So some of these homes you'll see have vehicles in them where people have purchased already and they've moved in and other homes are like this one next to us. This is sold just recently was which was purchased but this is a home that is completely built and ready to be purchased today. Um, all of these, the vast majority of these homes. Um, there is one two-story floor plan in this community. Um, that is this one right here, this cream one. That gives us the option. There's a lot of bedrooms. I believe it's uh, uh, four or five bedrooms, but at least four bedrooms um, with a huge loft upstairs. So that floor plan is great for someone who says, hey, look, I'm, this is gonna be my beach house. I plan on having lots of guests and lots of company um, and spending the majority of our time outside of the home, going to the beach, going to the boardwalk, going and seeing everything that there is to do down here in coastal Delaware and not necessarily, hey, I, I'm gonna be in my house 24 seven. So it's a great way of having guests, having lots of people come in and enjoy what's going on. And then there's other floor plans here that are a bit, uh, you know, more open floor plan. Not that, not that that two story floor plan isn't open, but uh, wider for, foyer areas, um, things like that. So uh, there is a selection, but that is the one two story option. Um, there are also three car garage options in here uh, in this community with some of the floor plans. So 
that's nice if you plan on having a golf car or if you have you know a, an auxiliary vehicle a Jeep or a, a classic car or something that you that doesn't get driven a whole ton or if you just have three vehicles it's nice to have that third garage the other thing that some people do with the third garage is they use it for storage since we don't have a basement and we don't have a, an attic it gives us the ability to maybe utilize that third car for a golf cart and some additional storage. So food for thought there, it's nice to have that option as well. Uh, there are uh, a few different elevation features with some of the floor plans. Again, these are spec'd out by the builder. So you would look and say, I like this home, so I like that house, you pick it. Um, if you don't like that particular one, then, then they will find you one that has the color that you're looking for. Again, it's really similar to uh, resale meeting new construction so brand new home with warranty um, they offer a lot with their home as far as standard features um, complete blinds throughout the whole house that's like two thousand dollars right there uh, tankless water heaters and two by six construction and there's really a lot to to what they're offering um, in their homes and you know at a, at a decent price point especially for its location the community itself is going to be in like the mid 200 uh, number of homes i believe i can find that out for sure i'm going to have a beautiful clubhouse it's going to be located off here on the left burton's pond is right here burton's pond is a is a freshwater pond uh i'm not sure if they're going to have access to that pond or not i can find that information out um but that is literally right on the other side of this tree line here is the burton's this burton's pond um and then just on the other side of that is another community called Walden. So, uh, you know, that's kind of the proximity where we're at here in the location, um, you know, just... Uh That's gonna put you on the Indian River Bay. There's lots of options for slips in there. Uh, so that's gonna put you maybe about 10, 15 minutes to, to boating. So you are centralized if you're if you're looking for that type of possible lifestyle as well. Um, you know, just minutes from, from you know, where your boat slip would be, where your boat's gonna be docked out. Uh, we are in the beginning stages of the community. There's still a lot of opportunities here. Uh, you know, if I had to, you know, see the pants, take a guess here, I'm gonna say three to four years of building will, will, is gonna be remaining here. Um, you know, so that's it's great. It's gonna be nice to watch the community grow and form. The good thing is that typically pricing wise in the, in the beginning stages tends to be a, a little bit uh, better for the buyer. So, you know, if this is something that you think fits the mold for you, now is a great time to really take advantage of it and jump in and um, you know get some, some better pricing. Um, obviously in new construction, time always typically e equals money. And uh, you know, as we get farther and deeper into the build, normally that those prices start to go up. So all in all, that is Headwater Cove here. Uh, in the Lewis Harbison area just off of Route 24. If you like this video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that way you're notified when I upload new videos. Um, and you can please feel free to reach out you know, at any point in time with questions that you might have.